What is up guys and welcome back to another video. My name is John. If you're new here, consider subscribing and hitting that bell to get instant notifications when I upload new content. Today I show you how to adjust the travel on your RockShox fork. This can be completed on or off the bike. In this case, I'm putting it on my bike work stand. The first step is to connect your shock pump and jot down your air pressures for later after the service is complete. Then you can release all of the air. Remove the air cap and grab something small like an Allen key and press the valve until the air stops coming out. The next step is to remove the lower legs. Remove your rebound adjuster by pulling it straight down. After that, grab a 5mm Allen key and loosen the lower leg bolts, but do not remove them. Next, grab a dead blow hammer or a mallet and hit the Allen key while it's still on the lower leg bolts. Don't worry, you won't damage the fork. This is just to dislodge the leg shafts from the lower legs. Hit them a couple of times until you see oil leaking out. You can now remove the bolts. Once your bolts are out, you can remove the lower legs. Do so by pulling straight down. If they don't come off, slide the lower legs up a little bit and quickly yank down and they should dislodge. Once the legs are off, put them in a clean area. Next, you have to remove the air shaft. To do this, you need an adjustable wrench or a 22 mm socket. Loosen the air shaft assembly by turning it to the left until it is free from the stanchion and you can pull it out. Once you get the air shaft assembly out, you can pull the air shaft out of the tube. On the air shaft, you will see many seals, a bump stop, and depending on the travel of your fork, one or multiple top out spacers. Once you decide what you want, add or remove the desired amount of top out spacers and place the air shaft back in the tube. If you're having trouble getting the air shaft to stay in the tube, grab your Allen wrench and press the air valve at the top cap and it should slide right back in. Slide the shaft assembly back into your stanchion and tighten it taking care not to strip the bolt head. Now is a good time to lube your stanchions. Next, grab your lower legs and slide them back onto the stanchions. Don't put them all the way on, you now have to add your fork oil. For my specific fork, the legs require 6 milliliters of 15 weight oil. I suggest you read the manual for your fork to find out exactly what you need. Get a syringe and add the oil right into the bolt hole of both the lower legs. Once your oil is added, you can push the lower legs up to the shafts and reinstall your lower leg bolts. Reinstall the rebound adjuster and add your air. Grab your shock pump and add your desired or recommended air pressure into the air shaft. If you don't know what to add, there will usually be a chart on your lower leg you can reference. Reinstall your air cap and your job is complete. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing. Leave a comment if you have any questions and don't forget to like this video as well. That's all I have for today's video. All clickable links down below in the description. As always, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.